Okay, good evening everyone and um, good afternoon. We're um, very happy on behalf of uh, DESCON to be doing this workshop in collaboration together with um, PSSOH, which otherwise stands for Application of Free Software and Open Hardware. Um, it's a great opportunity to be here at the um, University in Belgrade and uh, we, uh, together with uh, Vanya Sanic, my name is Željka Desiree Milosevic, and, uh, and together with Vanya, we will um, tell you how to put together, how to assemble your Climerco, uh, which is a DIY um, air monitoring device that was born at um, DESCON 2018. Um, so, um, Uh, this year, uh, DESCON, which is otherwise an annual um, ecology and technology hackathon, took place online. So we had our first online edition because of COVID, and uh, this very workshop is the only one that we're doing in person, so it feels like normal <laughs> for a while. Uh, the topic of DESCON this year is climate change as before, but we have focused on sustainability and, and low tech. And uh, we can say that Climerco is also somehow low tech because it was, it's an open source and open hardware device and it doesn't use um, a lot of energy to run. Um, the, in order to give you a little bit of background uh, of how we ended up here today with people assembling their own uh, Climerco stuff, is that we've been monitoring what's been happening around the world. And uh, uh, although we, the DESCON started as an IoT and security and internet uh, hackathon, we have moved and we changed our focus to climate change, global warming, and to see how we can address some of the challenges that we are facing. Uh, specifically in Belgrade, air pollution is everywhere, but also in other parts of Serbia. Um, and what we're facing as a, as a humanity, I think, is this existential challenge to rebuild and redesign our entire society uh, with the long-term sustainability uh, in mind. And that's a hard task. Um, on this photo, you can see Belgrade, and it's usually these months, like end of October, and November, December, and January, uh, that this is a, a common uh, scene of the air in Belgrade. Um, what made us think back in 2017 at the, ha at the hackathon we had took place in Belgrade is that, that this is happening all over the world. Uh, in New Zealand, a river got a legal human uh, right because it was so polluted, so, so they have a new regulation where actually rivers are considered an entities and they have their own uh, legal rights in order to protect our environment and community. Um, and as the community of uh, free software and open hardware, I think um, I just wanted to say that Lee Felsenstein uh, in 2018 came to Descon in Belgrade. He, he, he showed up and, uh, and uh, we discussed uh, what our responsibility as a community is. And I really like to share with you his advice to Greta Thunberg and friends, um, because we usually despair as what could be done as all energy sources, either renewable or the current ones, are um, creating uh, and actually ruining our environment and the ecosystem, the earth, ecology and geography. So this is a, just a photo of, of that 2017 um, and Lee Felsenstein is a computer inventor and he worked on the first personal computer, Osborne One in, in California in the United States. And he came to Descon and worked with uh, other students who also came from the ETF um, here on an inductive charger and uh, we had a lot of fun. So um, I just take out some of the uh, few kind of suggestions um, what to do 
is that we have to remind ourselves we do have an orphan stores and, and, and it has to be both hardware and, and software. And um, we still have crowd, um, crowdfunding through the internet and this in intermediation, which is actually to remove the need of a middleman in, in purchasing parts so that we can build um, devices uh, however, we should not be building them as um, in mass production, but really it should, what should be happening is mass innovation and only an amount that is um, necessary. A um, couple of days ago, we also have Voya Antonic, who is a Serbian inventor, um, most known for Galaxia, who's now in the US. He shared with us as well a story, um, what is necessary to do to just um, combat this white paper and how to become creative and how to creatively and critically think about your project when you're creating something. So I suggest that you check this out. And uh, with all of this in, in, in front of us, the, we have shared the GitHub code on um, of Climerico, you can find it. <laughs> and just at the beginning of um, this year, <coughs> actually end of next year, pardon, um, we have uh, uh, launched something called Citizen Vazduh um, Grajanima uh, RS, which is otherwise a citizen initiative. And we hope that Climercos that we build today will also end up on this uh, nationwide network. Uh, so where um, citizens can uh, through open data, share the data of uh, collected pollutants in the air in their vicinity and that we should have a better um, idea um, about the quality of air that we breathe at a particular time. And it would be, um, I suggest that you look at it uh, because the website went through a couple of reiterations and now you can even go backwards and check an individual uh, device and you can go back in time and calendar and see what the uh, air quality or air pollution was a week ago, months ago, six months ago. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone who has been working on this, um, um, people from DESCON, the Hack Club Belgrade and Internet Society, Serbia, Belgrade chapter. And we also plan to continue working on it and therefore after this workshop we will have um, another session discussing the future of Climerico and what other f f features and senses we may want to add to the device um, and community will join to find out. So as I said everything is on the github but you'll hear more from Vanya once you see this video. This is the very old iteration of um, uh, Vazduh Grajanima map. Um, initially, when we only had about 20 um, Climerco devices put uh, online, and the average unfortunately wasn't counted, so you would see a cluster of the devices saying five, five devices, but it wouldn't show necessarily the average, um, um, the average uh, measure of each of the device. So in the new reiteration now you can see that the color of this cluster changes because what it does, once you click on it, you can go to an individual device, but you can also um, see clearly if the color has changed to orange, red or um, dark violet, which shows that the presence of uh, particular matters in the air is quite high and um, of course it's not healthy. So, um, following the Lee Felsenstein's advice, and, and I, I, we believe that our responsibility and our response was to build such a device to be able to see um, uh, how, where we live. And um, we are committed to do more research to find out if we're going to add more um, measurements um, to the device. Uh, we'll do a research together with SINCE and there'll be a movie which, which first part you will see how to assemble Climerico and uh, we hope to add uh, 40 new devices to the network. Um, strategically we would be only deploying them in the most polluted locations in Serbia 
So by the end of December, um, the research uh, would be able to um, tell us exactly where those new installments uh, should take place. Um, and now you can follow um, the YouTube link where um, we've uploaded the step-by-step um, -step how to assemble your device. And you can um, also pause, which is very convenient if you're running it from end of your screen. And here uh, in our workshop today, we have also Vanya Stanic, uh, who has many thanks, Vanya, for creating such a wonderful video. Um, he'll be helping you out and um, he'll be here as well as myself if you get stuck with any details. So there we go. Um, Let's start our workshop now. Ići on trebati Node MCU koji je zapravo mozak klimjerka uređaja. So, there's going to be So, here to see if you have any questions. And since the video was in Serbian, um, we will also translate it and do subtitles and share it in both versions. And we can um, ask questions in any language. Um, from the two you can do it. <laughs> yep, exactly. And I'm Anja Stanić, the guy who made the video. So, yeah, feel free to ask me uh, whatever you like, if you have any questions. Also, can we hear sound? Here? Yes, if they okay. want to, they can raise their hand or use q &A. Okay, let's see if somebody that. asks something. So, I think we have six participants in the room. And... Slovo do pitanja. Okay. Steven je tu. Mm -hmm. uh, drugu stvar koju smo zaboravili da vam kažemo je ta da je aplikacija Klimerko Android uskoro gotova, radi se na tome. Uh, tako kada ga instalirate, onda će te makirte ga biti i na aplikaciji, ne samo na browseru i... Ali mislim da ovi ljudi su jako iskusni i mi zavodili. Pravno mi je mojka da nemaju vremena za pitanje. I call them to speak up. So we'll see. They can ask if they want to. Okay, I guess there's no questions. And uh, so, we should share the link um, of the ah, yes. video in Q&A. So, wonderful. And um, you can watch it in at your own pace. You can um, pause it. There you go, that's and the link for the video. It's currently unlisted, but it will be public in about an hour. So, yeah. Also, maybe we can give an email address if they want to. Uh, a Discord room. Mm. We need to create another. Uh, another new one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it'll all be available on uh, timerko.org. Oh, okay, I we have... think we have a question. Okay. Just a second. Mm. Okay, that's the link. Uh, one word, can I mean, 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 I pošaljete file da se to sve ištampa i na kraju kad dođete pokupite platite i to je to, a u drugom slučaju većina nekih fakulteta tehničkih imaju svoje 3D štampače kao i hackerspace-evi po gradovima, tako da možete pokušati jedna od tih opcija. Ali u suštini Klemerko samo od sebe mi ne zahtjeva toliko kući što je na primjer jedna varijanta koju sam vidio da ljudi rade i koju sam i ja predložio onima koji ne imaju 3D štampač je da uzmu flašu i izražu prilike ovoliko od vrha one dvo litre. I onda bukvalno sve komponente možete staviti ispod toga i možete ga okačiti napolje ili bilo gdje i u suštini ono i dalje je zaštićeno donekle od ovaj 
a, vremenski uslova, a radit će i moći da očita kvalitet fazika. Tako da... Ako neko ima još neko pitanje, slobodno postavite se. Postavite. U suprotnom... To je to. Uste, hvala vam. A, druga stvar što bi možda mogli da dodamo kada napravite svog klimerka, pošaljite nam sliku istoga na info.desk.me tako da vidimo na kojoj je u stvari visini sve ga instalirali u vašem stanu i bilo bi dobro da je na prozoru ili balkonu. Zato ovaj kabel mora biti malo duži, um, možda dvometarski ili trometarski ako nemate baš utičnicu na balkonu. I um, šta još onda? Da, o, 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 tako da ću pokaživati u stvari vaš uređaj i visinu koliko ste ga instalirali visoko od nadmorske visine. Ali to morate vi da... Sami, da. Da, na platformu. To je korisan podatak, je tako? Relativno, za budućnost možda. Trenutno to ne, ne radim nikakva računanja trenutno s tim, ali može biti korisno za buduće. Da. Tipa, preciznost podataka zavisi, naravno, ako je, na primjer, zagađenost bez te zagađenosti, verovatno veća ako je vaša terasa ono pozadno na metar uzvišena i odmah pored ulice, nego što bi bilo na primjer da ste na 35. spratu, pa zbog toga samo koristim to. Kaj indikacije? Da, izvolite. Jel ste razmišljali možda o nekom proširenju, u smislu da imate neke dodatne senzore, Ove, koji, bi, koji bi merili još neke parametre, um, ili kao klimerko 2, verzije 2.0. Jeste, to, to je baš bio deo ovaj, tog slajda a, koji nismo završili jer smo hteli da krenemo sa videom. Um, posle ove naše radionice ćemo sa zajednicom pričati o tim dodatnim. Ono što ovaj, ćemo meriti najverovatnije to je karbon dioksid i azot. Mm-hmm. Um, e, možda H6, T6, to je sa... Um, u zavisnosti šta dobijemo kao izveštaj, šta je najkritičnije meriti, pošto postoje dosta ovih državnih a, instaliranih stanica koje mere pojedine zagađivače, ali ne sve. I onda naša ideja je sa tim projektom a, Air to the People ili Vazduh građanima 2.0 ili Klimerko 2.0 da uh-huh. imamo u stvari dodatne senzore a, i onda će ti dodatni senzori meriti te zagađivače baš na toj lokaciji gde te a, tog zadrđivača ima više. Da. <laughs> Dobro, kako stojimo sa vremenom? Mislim da ljudi su zauzeti, jel tako, rade. Um, 15.6. Mi smo to u sobi, tako da možete, ako imate neko pitanje, um, Kao što sam rekla, odse na web site da pošaljete mail, a postaće vam novu sobu takođe a, i ovaj link će biti public, tako da moći ćete da ga nađete na našem YouTube kanalu. Mm-hmm. A i... Imamo poruku, srećno hvala. <laughs> Pije, vidite, ja će biti javna ovo snimanje prezentacije koje ste održane, će biti dostupno na YouTube? A, bit će, uh, moramo da ih, uh, u stvari, isečemo tako da i da ih obradimo malo, uh, za neke moramo da dodamo subtitule, tako da ćemo to sledeće nedelje uh, poslati mail ili na Twitteru, uh, uh-huh. desnom Twitteru, Hakla, Beograd, uh, uh, takođe će verovatno svi podeliti taj link, a ovi što su se registrovali za konferenciju dobit će isto mail sa svim linkovima i imat ćemo repoz- repozitorij svih um, predavanja takođe pdf da možete da um, pogledate uh, što nije bilo dostupno u onom real time Eto. Big Blue Button server. Sjajno. Hvala, hvala vama, hvala što ste nam pozvali.